credits deposited. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. No, just the tools in the suit. I still have to pay for the hab and the utilities. So you can never get your daily charges down to zero, but you can get them you can get them lower. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like barge items are slightly more difficult to damage, which is very convenient. I like it. Than before the patch? Yeah. I feel like it was much easier to destroy stuff before the patch. Things seem a little more resilient now. And I don't know if that's intentional. I hope it is. Because I like it. Alright, you got five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Before they turn the lights out on you, we wrap. Salvage destroyed. Please avoid damaging valuables.
Also, periodically, you'll see me destroy items that say they should go into one location or another uh, to get a different item. Salvage deposit accepted. And the reason I'm doing that is... Generally speaking, the items that go into the barge down there are the most profitable. Then the items that go into the processor, and then the items that go into the furnace. Generally speaking, there, are, I'm sure there are a few exceptions to that rule, uh, but for the most part, that's a hard and fast like judgment rule there. So sometimes you'll see me destroy stuff that should go into the furnace in order to get stuff that can go into the barge, and that's just because it's it's super profitable to do so. Like these things, these, this whole wall here goes into the uh, processor. So I destroy chunks that go into the furnace that are significantly smaller in size. Equal, if the if if weights are equal, um, the the profit is is accurate. Green, blue, red, for equal weights. But I mean, if I if I destroyed something that was like two thousand kilograms to. To save like uh, to burn a hundred kilograms of something else, that probably isn't profitable. Isn't glass super profitable? Yeah, but there's not a lot of glass in these ships. So generally speaking, glass can be ignored for the most part. There's only a few ships that have a, a, a significant amount of glass. Most of the ships have very small quantities. Alright, Cutter. Wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get level 2 on this trip, but that's okay. Need to do a lot of cleanup here. Yeah, the reason glass is super profitable in the furnace is glass is extremely heavy. It's very, very thick. So you can cut out a small section of glass and it could be like a hundred thousand dollars. Because it's like it's breaker. like that thick, you know. Links would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. All right, let's go get rank two. Right, 
Why can I not peel off the tops? Material Something's deposit. holding on here. Push that off. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Do the connector things give money when they go into the furnace? What are you talking about? The yellow cut points? Salvage secured. I'm sure they do. No not much though. Not worth not cutting them. But I mean, you'll see me leave certain pieces connected to each other because I know I can move the thing as a whole. And then I'll do that. Yeah, usually you do. Well, those are designed to be cut. The The ship is specifically made with those points, so the ship can be dismantled. So, even though they may be worth a tiny bit of money, they're, the game just doesn't consider it worth. over here. Why won't... Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Well, it's not intentional. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. 
Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Okay, now... Alright, I hit level 2. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna leave those connected and we're gonna see if we can pull out these thrusters. Aha. Let's get this off of there first. Excellent. the look of that. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Thank you. 
Yep, cryohazard. I know. <laughs> Game's like, dude, it's freaking cold right here. seems like it's stuck on something. Why? Oh, because of that. Electrical damage. Note that excess electrical damage has been found to negatively impact long-term job satisfaction. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep and let's finish strong. Here's the other one. We can remove that. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. All right. So now I should be able to purchase the Hello Ship Breaker. 
Overnight genetic backup complete. Expensive thing. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. 9100. So if I go to demo charges. Purchase your own detonator and charges. Eliminate the rental fee and become the envy of shipbreakers. Think. Now they won't charge me $100,000 a day for that. Alright, let's go back at it. My fees per shift now. I think they're like 177 ish. I'll be able to check tonight after this job, I mean. Okay, that goes to the barge. This... Oh, that also goes to the processor. Okay, well, whatever. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. I mean, the answer to your first question is yes. But I think they're trying to indicate that this is taking longer than 15 minutes. I don't think they're saying you only work 15 minutes a day. I think they're just saying the player only takes 15 minutes, but it takes the employee like probably 12, uh, 12 to 15 hours. That's what I always get out of it. We're not allowed any free time, so it would have to be... I'm thinking one minute is one hour. So 15 hours of work per day. That seems about right for indentured servitude. You thought I have multiple ships per day? Oh, shifts? No. Just one. Because they're always talking about, at the end of my shift, they're always talking about having, having a good night's rest, and... At the end of the shift, you, you, you get a new backup taken.
positive. Do I have anything left, left to purchase? Not that it'll reduce my, uh, my, uh, daily rent, no. I think those are all the items. I got it out. Nice. Valuable object process. Really twisted the rear end of the ship, though. All right, here's what we're gonna do here. Let's come down here. Goes in there. What's nice is while you're pulling items like this, if you if you cut off weight, I don't want to do that. I want that to go as one solid piece. Okay. If I separated those, they would all three go as separate pieces, but I kind of prefer them to be one solid piece right now. Even if it is tilting the ship. No, it's not. I tilted the ship earlier. Okay. What I was gonna say before I realized it would cut the pieces apart and didn't want to do it. Uh, I was going to say that if we pulled out that piece of spine there, the, uh, the thing would go a little bit faster because the weight was reduced. The game actually takes that into consideration. Which is really nice. Check that over there. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. This is pretty much empty. I mean, the corridor has stuff in it, but Here, here's what we're gonna do. We need to cut the bottom out of this. Five minutes left in this shit, Cutter. 
before they turn the lights out on you. We wrap. Oh, that piece is already gone, okay. At least it wasn't the most expensive thing in the world. Okay. That was frustrating. The thing floated right in front of my face as soon as I hit the uh, the boost button. Most unfortunate. And I'm pretty excited because tomorrow's only a half day of work. Athos, what's up, dude? You hope you leave at work at noon tomorrow, too? Well, if they... Here's the thing. If they don't let you leave at noon tomorrow... Uh, right when you... Right when you get back from lunch, you just run up to your boss and you go, I have diarrhea, and then run away.
They don't usually question that. <laughs> Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Yeah, see, $177,000 a day down from the $600,000 I was paying. Uh, so interest, I can't get rid of that. Bay lease, that's leasing the bay that I work in. I have to lease the bay where I do my work. Salvage transport. That's transporting the stuff that I cut off of the ship for them. <laughs> Have a rental, which is the rental of where I live and then the utilities. So yeah, it's it's a shitty working arrangement. <laughs> Uh, 4,000. I don't know that I can actually buy. Oh, I can buy stuff for 4,000. There's range of my grabber and strength of my grabber. Let's go for range first. Interest is by far the largest expense and it slowly goes down. That's correct. I also have to buy my oxygen, my fuel, my tethers, my demo charges, repair kits, emergency patch kits. I have to pay for all of that. So yeah, they're uh... All right, so now we're gonna pull you over there. slowly slide you over there you might end up hitting the ship if you do that's gonna be a little annoying but I can deal with it I saw stuff up there. Pick those up. Get that bag of chips out of here. Okay, you need to come out. It goes to the processor. That's just that. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. Excellent. Furnace piece. Material deposited. there. Now let's cut here. Okay. Now we'll cut there. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Cut through 
that. Salvage destroyed. Please refrain from damage to salvage. That is just missed the ship. Please revisit your training. All right. So those two halves of the ship are cut in half. this bottom sheet off. Don't I take those things as salvage when I do the pickups? I do. Go ahead and grab this while we're here. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Wait, have I done this? I have. The repair kits and the oxygen tanks. Yes, I also get to keep those. Same thing with the posters. Early game, you get a you get a decent amount of oxygen on ships. Uh, in addition, in addition, you could just buy oxygen. It's pretty cheap. Uh, late game, you get a bunch of upgrades where your your oxygen that you get at your hab will last longer. And uh, I, I've maxed that out, so. I never have to get oxygen anymore. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. That's why you never see me get oxygen. It's, it's not because I'm picking up some in the ship, it's because I've got all the upgrades. Salvage and I never run out now. Alright, now we need to come back over here. Hmm. 
what we're gonna do here is pull out the coolant long the the coolant tanks okay now we're melting down Excellent. All right, so you are processor, you are processor. So we're going to come over here and cut this tank, cut the tube here. the whole the whole pipe does not come free I still need to work on that some of the ships that works and some of them it doesn't be this that's holding on to. Oh, it wasn't that. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Where did I cut? Right here. There we go. That chunk. This furnace now. Deposit accepted. Okay. Okay, that should rip that half off. In theory. Make sure that wasn't holding on to it. Huh. 
Strange. Deposit accepted. Should be able to pull all that. Carter, we're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. The greatest reward in life is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. Let's go one more time. Because I have a ton of nanocarbon to, to dump. And if I can get it all in there, I should be able to get to level 5. Excellent. Fuel's good, tether's good. That should go in. Deposit accepted. Deposit not okay. accepted. there and then we'll cut across here a little further back there we go down there and then we'll just cut that little piece right there huge end chunk going in there. Nice. Ship salvaged in full. Credit supplied to cutter account. It's just too heavy. Like that's that's a valid. Valuable object 
You'd be surprised how expensive 30 tethers is. Easier just to cut this open. Okay, it's peeling apart now. Is it breaking where I want it to? This isn't broken. There it goes. Even though it's severed, it wasn't severed. Well, that's disappointing. Report a bug, it's still early access, it's fine. Now that should be able to get pulled over there. Hey, look at that. Maybe they don't know. I can guarantee you they will. They'll know pretty fast. I just cut off the things. Whoopsie. You go there. You go there. And you go there. Good enough for me. Material deposited. What's in that room right there? Oh hey, it's you! Finally got gotcha. you. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Stop trying to auto aim for me, jeez. Get it start tilting its butt upwards. Just to re while we're waiting, just a reminder who everyone uh, to everyone who's here. Mom and I are going to be playing Viscera Cleanup Detail on Christmas. 
so be sure to stop back by for that. That'll be fun. Looks like the suck is finally kicking in. Oh, there was still a bed in there. Oh, whoops. Nice. Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We wrap. Well, the getting's done. Twenty-nine. What does that get us? Good morning, shipbreaker. This is your daily wake-up call. Probably can't buy anything. It's just upgrades. Uh, let's see the range on my split cutter. The strength, I already had that one unlocked. That was last time. That's level 30. Level 30. Uh, electrical and cold damage resistance. Durability drain. Nothing exciting. Let's increase my resistances. Helmet's done. We get strength. Of 8,500. We'll get this one. And I guess demo charges. We'll get a uh, drain rate. Alright, so I have everything unlocked up to level 29. Everything else is level 30. Let's see, we got uh, 2250. 2250, 2250, 2250, those are four and a half, five thousand, yeah none of this stuff is all that expensive, at level 30, nice. Alright, well I think that's a good stopping point for tonight everybody.